today on Living Hakuna. Maybe you subscribe my oh, wow. <laughs> Good morning. So this is Tiger Beach. <laughs> it's a shipwreck survivor. So we got some dolphins, guys. The dogs are hungry for some fish today. I'm Andrea, that's Alejo, those are bears Ozzy and Echo, and this is our home, Hakuna. Subscribe to join us every Sunday as we explore the world above and below the surface. What's up everyone? Good morning. So today we left Bimini and we're heading, we're on our way to Grand Bahama. And the reason why we're going there is because it is on our to-do list to do a shark dive at Tiger Beach. Uh, we have very little wind, it's very light, but we still have our sails up. We expect the sail to take about 12 hours. We left at around seven this morning, and we should be arriving to west side of Grand Bahama by 7 p.m. Today is Wednesday and the dive is on Sunday, but today was the only day that we could do the crossing based on the weather window. We are motor sailing because the wind is so light. We only have nine knots, seven to nine knots, and that's not enough to move this boat. Well, not at least, unless if we wanted to go at like two or three knots, but we would never arrive there, so. That's why we put this one engine a little bit forward and that's enough to give the boat a little push. What's up people? So we're moving to Freeport and we caught a fish, but it was a barracuda, a small barracuda. I was using my brand new lure and this is what's left, nothing. She took it off. I just released her, it was small. We don't need barracudas. They're high in mercury because they eat a lot of reef fish. So, some people do, but we don't risk it. We'll continue fishing today. Hopefully we catch some mahi-mahi, some wahoo, or a tuna. Andrea, what would you like to catch? I would like to catch, I think the mahi was good. So we're going for the back. Some of you wonder what we do while we're sailing, and usually while one of us is on watch, the other one just rests. If the seas are calm, we try to get some work done for our business, but usually sailing means we're away from land so we don't have any internet access. In that case, we take advantage and edit some videos for YouTube. What's up guys? So today we are going to town in the Grand Bahama Island, and we have our scooters here. We are, first we're going to take the dogs out. We were going to go with the dogs, but it seems like one of our scooters has a flat tire. A flat tire. So we have to go figure out how we can fix the flat tire. For now, we're just gonna walk the dogs and see how it goes. And we're a little bit bummed because we were ready to go on both scooters with the pups. But seems like not happening today or maybe later today. Even though Echo has been fully blind for almost two years, she has developed her other senses significantly. She uses her sense of hearing to determine her distance from the scooter and her sense of smell to find her way around places. This allows her to follow us everywhere we go, but her abilities never stop to surprise us. Good girl, good boy, good girl. Good boy, good girl. Muy bien. We came in the scooter all the way to the marina just to see where the shark dive, where the boat is gonna be at so we can know tomorrow. And it's right here. Right. That way we don't get lost tomorrow. We have to be here at 8 a.m. So, so we made it back on the boat and Alejo has been trying to fix our scooter. And so it has been a couple of hours. He's been trying, it's pretty hard, but you just got the tire off, right? Yes. So how'd you do it? With YouTube and a little bit of patience. <laughs> So 
we're gonna pump the tire, put some soap, see where's the little hole, and maybe see if we can fix it. Oh, a very nice lady let us borrow her, what is that called, her little pump? pump? Yes. Because without it, we would be struggling. Oh, I see it. See bubbles? Yeah. What's the point of having scooters if you can't use the scooters because you have a flat tire? Good morning, everyone. So we woke up super late for our shark dive, but we're on our way. We have our scooters both functioning and we're going to the shark dive. We'll see you guys in a little. Upon arriving to the dive boat, we saw a beautiful manatee. These gentle giants weigh about 1,000 pounds, have a lifespan of 40 years, and they spend most of their day eating seagrass. These mammals are shallow, warm water species found along the coast in both freshwater and saltwater. They're very slow creatures swimming at 5 miles per hour that when threatened can pick up to 50 miles per hour. They can stay underwater for about 15 minutes, but when swimming, they must come to surface every three to four minutes to breathe. Maybe he's just grabbing my hand. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good morning. That is so cool. Hello. Yes. There are three species of manatees found in the world. This one, the West oh Indian, God. Amazonian, and the African. And all three are considered endangered species due to loss of habitat and collision with boats and ships. And that's why it's so important to be responsible boaters while driving through shallow waterways. And then you know you're also paying five thousand dollars. So excited. Are you excited? Very excited. I'm super nervous. Are you? <laughs> that's good. <laughs> like most people, Alejo watched Jaws as a kid every season of Shark Week and every Hollywood movie that involved sharks eating humans. And as it was meant to happen, although he had never seen a shark in the ocean, sharks became his greatest fear. So three months ago, we set off on a mission to get rid of this unreasonable fear through personal experience and education. Our goal is to have 10 shark encounters within the next months, and this was his second encounter. So to say that he was afraid was a big understatement. Alright guys, so we just made it to Tiger Beach, and I'll be honest, I'm pretty nervous. And I don't even want to tell you that I'm pretty nervous. <laughs> We're pretty freaking nervous, but I'm also really excited. This is the best shark dive in the world. The other best thing that you can do is go diving with great whites, but I don't think anyone beats great whites. So this is the best spot to be diving in the world right now. So I'm pretty excited. We will be seeing tiger sharks, Caribbean reef sharks, lemon sharks, nurse sharks, possibly hammerheads, and that's it, right? Oh, and maybe bull sharks too. We have the crew here. Darren, hello. <laughs> we have crew there. Everyone that's diving with us. Are you nervous? How do you feel? So the thing that in the, that were that Jay told us in the briefing where that we have to wear almost double the weight that we normally wear when we're just going scuba diving, and that's because the current is pretty strong, and we just want to sit down in the sand so that we're comfortable, we're not moving. The other thing that we were told we're giving out PVC pipe, so at no time are we supposed to touch the shark or the shark touch us. So we always push them away with the PVC pipes avoid any potential bad situations. Hello. <laughs> Hello. This yeah. is Jermaine, the dive master and the shark feeder's second assistant. Yeah. Yes, just yes, relax. Relax? Once you, once, you get, once you get inside, give yourself some time and get yourself accustomed to it. Okay. And then you start to understand the situation. Alright. Don't just rush it. Take your time. Let's Take go. Your time. Take the your dive time. will be in 50 feet of water. We will be there for two and some, maybe two and a half hours. The shark feeder is going to be underwater all the time. Everyone else is going to be underwater the entire time. So we just go up by ourselves, change tanks if we have to. If not, we just stay underwater for the pool two hours. It's going to be perfect, perfect crystal clear water. So we are going to have full HD visibility of the tiger shark. They haven't even chumped the water and there's already sharks all around the boat. Most importantly, Limit your splashing, your noise making at the surface. You'll see in a moment, once you get set in it, I'll use just this simple ball. What are you be putting fish in the water? You'll see that all the sharks come. So that's the end point. The crew started chumming the water and we waited for about 15 minutes. 
The main guests of this party were the tiger sharks, and we were not getting in the water until they arrived. <laughs> oh my gosh. You didn't think all of them were dead, did you? This is Tiger Beach. This is Tiger Beach. Crazy. Alright, so you're going to see right now, I need to turn this pause. No fish, no food. Let's go like this. Turn this pause. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> no splashing. Teaching the sailors to bring them stop on the water. Uh, How do you feel? Is anyone nervous? I'm really nervous. Yeah, I'm always nervous. <laughs> and this is Jay. He was our captain and shark feeder for the dive. <laughs> we are always nervous doing this thing. After Jermaine explained how awful it was to splash the water, he said that we had to find a hole among the 30 to 40 lemon and Caribbean reef sharks swimming on the surface and enter the water by doing a giant stride with deflated BCTs so that we would go straight to the bottom after making the splash. Know where they are, don't touch them, and don't let them, don't touch, let you. them touch you. That easy, guys. Very good. They're going down. They're pretty solitary. And this is Gigi, dive master and shark feeder's assistant. Solitary, usually. Yes. The great white comes in. I'm going to be at the big box. Okay. It's very important that you guys come and surround me. <laughs> <laughs> With your tanks facing out. <laughs> 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 You're, you're gonna get in on the port stern here. You're gonna follow this line down. Jaren's gonna give you a PVC pipe, okay? You'll meet me and Gigi underwater, and we will get you set up. Sounds good, guys? Yeah. Let's do it. I can't believe I'm doing this. It's time to go in the water. We're going in in one minute. I'm going in first, Ali is going next. We're gonna be good to go. Upon entering the water, we were greeted by the awesome crew, the shark feeder, Jay, and his assistant, Gigi. They would tell us exactly how many tiger sharks were in the area, and we had to be fully aware of their location at all times. The dive started with three tiger sharks, but as the dive continued, we had a total of five tiger sharks around us at once. We had sharks on all directions, but the tiger sharks would mostly follow the smell from down the current all the way up to the bait box, go around once and do it all over again. And that was the reason why we had to stay up current. About 15 minutes into our dive, a tiger shark approached me and I was so focused on recording him that I forgot to push him away using my PVC pipe. And once I realized that he was getting way too close, I reacted using my left hand, breaking two of the three important rules that we shouldn't have broken. I realized that I had made a mistake, although the sharks were easily redirected with the PVC pipes without any kind of force or strength, I shouldn't have been more focused on the camera than on the shark itself, so after that I was a lot more proactive using my stick. J 
day, our shark feeder was only five to seven feet away from us, meaning that we had tigers getting up and close every second of the dive, giving all of us a huge rush of adrenaline for over two hours. We had forgotten that we were surrounded by nurse sharks, lemon sharks, Caribbean reef sharks, and bull sharks. Even though they were higher in quantity, they compared nothing to the tiger sharks. The tiger sharks took all our attention. These massive animals were at least twice the size of all the other sharks that we were sharing the water with, making the others look like tiny, insignificant fish. I realized how easy it is to become afraid of sharks in today's world. Most movies only show the shark's teeth and aggressive behaviors that have to be provoked for the films to portray a mindless monster that eats you the second he sees you. But in this dive, with many of the ocean's largest predators, we saw that this simply doesn't happen. In fact, sharks are actually a lot smarter than most people think. They have different personalities, every species has its own characteristics and particular behaviors, and they all have social hierarchies around feeding areas that they must follow to avoid conflict among the group. In this dive, it was obvious that the tiger sharks approached the bait box and the feeder closely, unlike any of the other species of sharks. Tiger sharks are actually known as the trash cans of the sea because they will literally eat anything from their normal diet, turtles, fish, dolphins, snakes, and even lobsters to man-made objects like paint cans, plastics, license plates, rubber tires, and leather jackets. And yes, these are all objects that have been found inside dead tiger sharks. This is probably the reason why you should never take your eyes off a tiger shark. Their natural behavior is to roll down their eyelids and eat their prey as a whole, which makes them not realize what they're actually eating. They will first approach, eat, and then realize whether or not that was real seafood. Most people's normal reaction during a shark encounter is to try to swim away, and that is actually the worst mistake one can make because just like dogs, sharks get pretty excited about chasing something, especially if it stops looking big by going from a vertical to a horizontal position, as you see here. Just like you wouldn't try to outrun a lion or a bear, it'd be best if you don't try to outswim a shark. Needless to say, this was easily the best experience of our lives. We learned about sharks and about ourselves. It took a lot, a lot of courage to be here, but it was worth every effort and every penny. Being so close to these magnificent animals was so humbling yet fulfilling. It serves as a reminder that there is so much value in our oceans that we cannot put a price to it, and that it's now more important than ever that we all work together to protect our blue planet. Baby, how was it? Yeah? Really cool. That's really cool. <laughs> really cool. It was incredible. It was, I think, the best experience of my life. I'm not sure. How'd you feel, baby? Yeah, we can go.
them in here, but... No, but tell me. What? The sharks? Oh, yeah. I'm so proud of you. you. You start getting used to the sharks. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, baby. Do you think you're not afraid of sharks that much anymore? I don't know. Is it better? Yeah, I have to. Okay, guys, give a big applause to Jay and Jarrah. Woo! We started heading back to shore, and after 15 minutes into the ride, the captain saw something that looked like a balloon in the ocean. Then he thought it was a dead body, but after getting close enough, he realized it was a shipwreck survivor. Him and his partner had been floating in the middle of the ocean for a little over one hour after their fishing boat sank 26 miles offshore. Luckily, he was wearing a bright colored t-shirt which was able to catch Jay's attention. After getting settled in, Jay and Jareem went back down to the wreck and pulled off the diving compressor from the boat and their personal belongings and took them back to shore. So we are back on board on Hakuna and I just really hope that you guys enjoyed watching the shark dive with the tiger sharks as much as we enjoyed it. It was an incredible dive and I hope it just serves as a small reminder that sharks shouldn't be feared, they should be loved, respected and protected. We should love them for what they are because without them we wouldn't have healthy oceans. We should also respect them because they are still apex predators. They are very strong and very dominant animals so they should be respected. When we go into their ocean, because that is their environment, not ours, we should totally respect them. And we should also protect sharks because unlike what most people think, sharks are actually very vulnerable to us humans. We're killing around 100 million sharks every single year for shark soup. They're used in supplements, they're used in, in different products for beauty. So make sure that you know what you're buying and that you speak up for the sharks. That being said, we are on the boat and we're heading back to Bimini. Let me show you, hello guys. We are motor sailing and the reason why we're heading back to Bimini is because during the dive we realized that one of our regulators wasn't working and so we have to go to the dive shop in Bimini and they're gonna fix it for us and that's why we're heading there. So we have the wind on our stern it's a very light wind day woohoo Alejo is going to start fishing taking the reel out so we got some dolphins guys and we're sailing heading to Bimini and we have some beautiful dolphins You caught something? Yes. What'd you catch, baby? I think a yellow, yellow tail snapper. Oh, snap. It's a chiquitico. Oh, oh it's here. Oh, Hey. Hey, hey, patras, patras. Patras. It's my fish, people. Fish. It's a small yellow tail snapper. Well, that's what I could find online. So I guess it is. It is what it is. That's good. That's a good uh, uh, food for tonight's dinner. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Look at this one. They're waiting for their piece, but I don't think they get a piece of this one, right? I could not. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. <laughs> what do you want to have for dinner tonight? I don't know. We get either half the fish or half the fish. <laughs> With what? We got another fish. Third fish of the day. Hey, Patras. Woo! Did you see a jump? Yeah, but what it's was not it? a monkey. No? Another barracuda? The dogs are hungry for some fish today. 
Today is the day of Barracuda. And no, we don't need Barracudas because they have Sigitara. So we'd rather not, you know, it's not like we live with a doctor on board, so we'd rather not. Oh, she's spicy! Yes. Ooh. She's spicy! Spicy girl! Woo! So we have... I just released a barracuda and we have the other rod going crazy. We don't know what it is. This is like Barracuda territory. This is Barracuda territory. Totally. I'm getting better, aren't I? Yeah, you oh just. You're gonna finish it. You're gonna finish it. That is good. Nice. I like it.